Hello guys, so I've been spending quite a lot of time recently on official Filament Discord and I've noticed quite a few knowledge gaps by people asking questions because as great as Filament is under the hood, it has Livewire and Laravel. And those two tools have a lot of solutions of Laravel and Livewire for the problems that people have in Filament by asking questions. So I have identified six things, six topics of Laravel that you would need to learn or relearn or improve your knowledge or read more about in order to be more efficient with Filament. And for all of those, I will demonstrate the examples from official Discord of Filament. So topic number one, and you can see the question on the screen, how to delete images when I delete my post. While it's possible to do that in Filament, it's better to use eloquent observers or Laravel events. So perform deleting the image on Laravel level and not on Filament. And this was exactly the answer by Leandro. It's responsibility of the developer to delete these files from the disk and Leandro is putting a link to eloquent events. Another example of similar question, I want to insert data into another model first when user edit a form. And again, Leandro answered with filament way of doing that, customizing the saving process. But then I added that this problem can also be solved in eloquent observers with updating method. It's actually your personal preference, which layer to have operation on filament, like before saving or something like that, or eloquent observers. But many times on Discord, I've noticed a question about updating data based on updating other data. And this is what eloquent observers are for in their original sense. So I do recommend to read and understand how observers work. And by the way, in the description below, I will put the links to all those topics so you can read about them more. So first, observers. The next topic is also about eloquent and this is accessors or attributes. So for example, you want to have a column in the table, which is not the database column, but it should be calculated dynamically on the fly. For example, difference between one money amount and another amount. And if you try to calculate that with format state using that wouldn't work because this formats only the original column and that column of difference isn't found in the database. So that can be solved again on Laravel level by calculating the attribute and using that directly in the table. So this is the answer on the official discord introduce get price difference attribute in the eloquent model and then you can use that as text column in filament. So accessors and mutators as well, the opposite part, attributes in general, eloquent attributes is topic number two, I really advise you to learn. Topic number three is aggregation functions of eloquent. And you see the pattern, it's all about eloquent because filament is about viewing the data and sometimes aggregating the data, but under the hood, it's all eloquent. And then if we dive deeper under the hood, it's database queries. So sometimes you need to learn raw queries as well, but let's stop with filament with aggregation functions. So for example, you have a relationship and you need to calculate something for the table. And one of the answer is with some feature. And if we take a look at the official Laravel docs, it's something like this post with some, and there's also with count, with min, with max and with exists. So you may want to add those two filament queries to aggregate the data in the way you want. Topic number four of Laravel that you want to use in filament is policies and gates policies more specifically because filament relies on policies by default for roles and permissions. For example, here's a question. How do you run this function once? Some customization of policy and the answer is that it should be a gate instead of a policy. This is just one example. But in general, if we look for policies in the official filament documentation for all creating records, listing and others, for authorization filament will observe any model policies. Let's open one of those. So filament will automatically look for model policies and take the rules from there. So if you don't know how policies work and sometimes gates, 
your customization of filament will be limited. So this is the topic I also advise you to learn. Topic number five is configuration of default Laravel project, which is mostly about .env file and configuration of folders. So this is just one of the question from Discord, export to Excel, subfolder is not correct. And the project is installed in a subfolder, not in a subdomain and not in the main domain. So you need to know how to configure that on Laravel level in .env file in your web server, which is Nginx or Apache, and any configuration options related to that, like config file systems or packages like Excel. So I replied with a blind guess to that question. So maybe app URL should be set as a subfolder. And the author replied that it wouldn't work, but they got it work with HD access rewrite. So you need to know about HD access, which is even outside of Laravel, it's about configuration of web server. So knowledge of things like these would help you to avoid installation and configuration problems on the filament level. And finally, for people who want to work with custom themes or generally customize the CSS and look and feel of filament panel, it's very beneficial to know how under the hood all the compilation process work with NPM, Tailwind configuration, Vite, and stuff like that. So for example, one of the questions, configure my Vite, because otherwise the CSS disappears. And one of the potential answers is to import preset. And also you need to run npm run dev or npm run build. And even in one of the version releases 3.2.59, recently Dan Heron reminded that if you have a custom theme, you need to recompile this each time you update filament because sometimes they change tailwind classes they use for ui components but in general you need to understand how that all process works so yeah these are the most popular topics outside of filament which are very beneficial to customize filament and solve the problems if something doesn't work as expected would you add something else to this list what laravel knowledge helped you while working with filament let's discuss in the comments below that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.